I've been looking for a denim bag for years and I finally found one. It's in this box. I hope I like it because I haven't seen it in person. So let's unbox it and see what I got. Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget from high-end luxury handbags to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos, and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. So like I said, I have in this box right here a denim handbag. I've been looking for a denim handbag for years. I did buy one a few years ago, or maybe one year ago, two years ago, something like that. I bought the Louis Vuitton denim pleaty. I had been looking for that for a year or more, finally found it in pretty much brand new condition for an amazing price. It had the box, it had everything with it. I'll link that video below if you're interested in seeing it. But I immediately discovered that bag wasn't going to work for me for a number of reasons, so I sold it after all that effort. This bag I think will work for me a lot better. I, you know, I don't know. Let's open it first and, and we'll talk. Here's my invoice. Okay, this was in the this was in the box. It says Rebecca Minkoff, which is the brand that the bag is, and I bought it directly from them. And I'm thinking, what is this? Because it looks like there should be something attached there. And I look on the back, there's a bunch of writing, and at the very top it says, Eau de Parfum, but there's no parfum attached. And then I reached in and I saw this. It's a little clip that should be in that spot. It should be in that hole. And then I found this, which is, oh, you're not gonna be able to see that and tell what it is, but it's the top of a perfume sample. And then I found this in the box and I'm not sure what that's for. I guess, I guess it attaches in here, right? And you push it and yeah, I've never opened up one of those bottles. So I think that's what it is. And then I found this, the actual perfume sample. So when I just found the cap to it, I thought maybe it was spilled all over everything and my denim bag was going to smell like perfume. Excuse me, parfum, but uh, doesn't seem to have spilled. So let's see if perhaps I can get this back on without spraying myself in the eyes. I did it. I think it smells nice. I don't know how to describe it. I'm not good at describing perfumes. I don't wear them, so I have no idea. It smells nice though. I like this one. I don't like most perfumes, but that one is actually not bad. I like it. It's florally. It's a little sweet. Now let's get to the handbag. Here is what's in the box. It's the bag with the Rebecca Minkoff sticker on it. Oh, there's something else in the box. At home hair color. All right. Now because I'm a little OCD, sorry about all the tissue paper noise, it was sticker was on upside down. The bag goes upright this way. Now it's correct. I had to spin the tissue paper. Uh, the front of the bag, however, is over here. Oh, you got a glimpse of the denim. So let's pull the paper off that way. It's wrapped up to keep it protected. I don't know when this video is going up and what you will have seen by the time you've seen this one. But at this point in my life, whether you've seen it or not, this is the third bag like this that I've purchased. Not denim, but the third from this line. One of which I kept and one of which I sent back. So let's see if I'm gonna keep this or send it back. Here we go. Plastic off, tissue paper off the back. Ah, oh, we're getting a glimpse here. Open that up. Where they wrap these so well. I hate to rip all this off when I don't know 100% that I'm keeping it, but you also need to be able to see the bag to decide if you're keeping it. Here's a look at the front. So again, for the thousandth time, it is denim. It's quilted denim. It looks like it's, I'm looking over at my monitor here. It looks like it is kind of aged looking where it's dark in the stitching and then like it's washed denim, you know, where it's lighter and it looks like it's been used, like not the bag's been used, but the denim's been used. There's the base with no feet. Oh, this is called the Edie bag, by the way. So the denim Edie, and now this was originally $278. 
didn't want to pay that much for a denim bag, especially one that's not a luxury brand. But one day it went on sale for, I think it was half price, like 135. And then I used Honey and got a coupon. And I probably have some kind of code where you can get a deal with Honey, so I'll put that below. And then I think maybe I was also able to use Rakuten and get extra money off that way, like cash back. And I'll link that below too, especially if you are new to Rakuten, if you use the link and buy whatever your first purchase is, I think over $25 you get, if I remember correctly, it's a $10 off whatever that purchase is, plus your cash back. After I bought this, I linked all that information in the community posts on YouTube. Doing all the math, all those discounts, you could have gotten this as low as $100, but it sold out that same morning that it went on sale. The denim, two things, my first impression here. It's not as soft as I was expecting it to be. My expectation was based I mean, this is ridiculous, but it was based on the Louis Vuitton denim from the Marc Jacobs denim lines, like the Mini Pleaty, which is so soft. And I have, let me go grab it, hold on. I have this. It's the clay from the Marc Jacobs denim Louis Vuitton line. And on the inside, it's this mustard color, which I love. This piece, I love it so much. And it's very soft. It doesn't feel like your jeans, which tend to be a little rough, that kind of denim. The Edie bag does feel a little bit rough. Like not uncomfortable to touch, definitely not Louis Vuitton soft. It has a little silver plate on the back that says Rebecca Minkoff. The hardware obviously is all silver. This, in case you're not familiar with the Edies, you can use the snap hook like it, it is functional in that it comes undone from that clip but that's not how you open the bag. So don't think it's that fussy. It's actually just a magnetic snap here. The inside is lined in a black fabric with some blue, like a navy. Yeah, I'd call that navy. Maybe a little lighter than navy leather. The handles here, which I'm not gonna unwrap just yet, but I'll slide this over. The handles are that same navy leather. There are two of those on a silver chain. I'll pull that out in a minute. The thing that I love about the Edie bags which if you haven't drawn the comparison yet, it's basically like a YSL Lulu. It's pretty much the same shape and structure as that. But the big advantage that this bag has over the YSL Lulu is that it has this magnetic snap, huge back pocket, and the Lulu does not have a back pocket at all. That's lined in a black fabric. Tory Burch also makes I called this a dupe for the Lulu, and Tory Burch also makes a dupe for the Lulu, which is called the Kira bag. I have one of those too. I may have a comparison of the two bags up already. Not the denim one, but this Edie. This was my first one, the one that I kept in the crinkled burgundy wine, oxblood, whatever you want to call it, color. These two look great together. Not that I would carry them together, but looks great with jeans. But I have a comparison of this bag with my Tory Burch Kira bag. All right, so that was the outside of the bag. And now let's look inside. The one thing that I don't like about the Edie bag is this space here. I wish that the flap had just been sewn right to the top and there wasn't this lip. When I'm wearing the bag crossbody and I go to reach in, I go to get into the back pocket and I end up going into this space where there is nothing. It's a dead zone that I wish was not there. The tag is attached here. Let's take a look at that. So it's the Edie flap shoulder bag in the color indigo, suggested retail 278. And you'll probably start to see these on eBay since they were on sale. I've noticed people tend to buy things on sale and put them up on eBay immediately. Here's the care for it. Let me read that. When not in use, store your Rebecca Minkoff bag in a cool, dry environment. Avoid contact with liquids, excessive heat or cold, and exposure to overexposure to sunlight. Take to a professional for cleaning only. Does that mean I can't take it out in the Houston summer heat? Because that's excessive. Take a look at the chain here and then I'll show you the interior compartments. There's the chain, it's this lovely silver. I love that it has silver hardware with the denim and not gold. Gives it a more casual vibe like it should have. All right, inside the bag, there's this one, it's gonna be hard to see because it's all black, but there's this big compartment here and then there's another compartment in the back. This front compartment is larger than the one in the back and then they are divided by this zipped compartment and it's a nylon zipper but it has a metal zipper pull and then that is also lined with the black fabric. There is leather trim all around the top of the inside of the bag and right there on that center compartment. And as you can see it says Rebecca Minkoff right there just stamped in silver. 
All right, now one thing I need to do to decide if I'm going to keep it. Oh, I said earlier there were two things about the denim that I noticed. I only mentioned one of them, which is the kind of roughness of it, or at least not the softness. The other thing is that in the photographs that I saw online, it seemed like some of the denim had a little bit of a yellowish tint to it. I don't see that with this bag. And it, it seemed like sometimes it was darker blue and lighter blue and that like there was more variation in the denim. And this doesn't have that. It's pretty much the same, at least on the front of the bag, not a lot of variation. Now on the back, you can see it's lighter on this side and darker here. And I kind of wish that was on the front because that's one of the things that I really liked about it. I also, and I cannot find the photograph of this, I saw somebody post on social media somewhere that they had a Chanel bag that looked a lot like this. It was the same sort of smaller diamond quilting in denim and it had the fading, I haven't been able to find it again. And every time I search for a Chanel denim or Chanel quilted denim, can't find it. All right. I need to try this bag on to determine, help determine if I want to keep it. Because I like it, but at the moment I'm not in love with it. Mostly because of that look and feel of the denim. I know I like this style bag because I have the other one. Again, I'm going to leave the plastic on the handles here, but I did have to take the styrofoam off of the chains. And then on the top of the bag you see the grommets are like this. So they're this way, not this way. And you can wear this bag two ways. You can double chain it to wear it as a shoulder bag. And I'm 5'3 for reference. Okay, so here it is as a shoulder bag. I really like that. I like the denim bag is away from the denim jeans and there's a shirt between them to separate it. So that's another thing I've wondered about this bag is I usually wear blue jeans and would that be like too much denim or too much blue? to have them together like that. Like this, I don't mind at all. I'm more concerned about the crossbody. So again, you can wear it with two chains or you can wear it with one. So here it is on the shoulder with one chain and my waist is up here, bottom of my hip is here. So this hits almost at the bottom of my hip and that still looks pretty good, I think. I don't think it's too much denim. What do you think? Crossbody, it sits like that. So my waist is here, top of the bag is right at my waist, bottom is a little below the bottom of my hip. And I think that still looks good too. At least it looks good on my computer monitor. I'll need to go look at my big mirror to see it more in person with lights not blinding me. Well, what do you guys think? I will have already made a decision by the time you see this. I'm definitely leaning toward keeping it, but what do y'all think? Should I keep this denim bag? Should I send it back and keep looking for another denim bag? Should I keep this because it was a good price but also look for another denim bag and have more than one? I may do that because I'd like a denim tote too. But right now I really like it. I think it's pretty. And one of the things that I really like about the Edie line too is that each season Rebecca Minkoff releases the Edie in new colors and new leathers. So you can find it in a smooth leather, a pebbled leather, maybe not a smooth. I don't know if I've seen that necessarily, but I've seen pebbled leather for sure. The crinkled leather, like my burgundy one, denim. I've seen suede. I've seen a leather. I have an unboxing of one that I sent back. That's, it looks like a snake skin, but it was metallic and all one color. And that color turned out to be too dark for me. So that's the only reason I sent it back. Otherwise it was gorgeous. There was a silver metallic snake scale sort of one that I really wanted, but I missed the chance to buy it and I haven't seen one at a price I'm willing to pay again. You know what? I just got some inspiration because you know I like bag charms. There's not really a great place to hang one on here except maybe this hook. And what I was just thinking, I mean, the first thing that came to my mind, because I love this, Artie Capucine from Louis Vuitton that has the banana hanging from it. I could totally string up a banana and hang it from this bag. And I would wear that. I, lo I would love to have that bag. That's one of my favorite absurd Louis Vuitton bags. Update from the future. I just looked at the bag in the big mirror and I love it. So snip snip with all the plastic. And now here is the bag with no plastic on it. So you can see it in all its glory. Lovely. And I can show you the zipper tabs on the inside. Okay, the one on the zipped compartment here is all metal. It's silver tab like that. But the one on, oh, I didn't even show you this. In this back compartment, there's also a zipped compartment, quite a substantial zipped pocket. 
and the tab on that, which is impossible to see because it's so dark, but it's a leather tab, whereas this is silver. I love it. She's a keeper. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. I hope you and your loved ones are doing well. I hope to see you back here next time, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.